in a program notes for course credit, project films, and even ship the prints themselves. Lewis, Nick Barbaro, Ed Lowry, Woo! Michael Barker, Marge Baumgarten were among the many students at that time who were completely entrenched in film. They spent their days and nights watching movies, writing about movies, and talking about movies. Cinema Texas sowed the seeds that led to the creation of the Austin Chronicle, which was co-founded by Nick and Lewis in 1981. Yeah. Yeah. As we know, the Chronicle has become the cultural mecca of Austin for over three decades now, and Lewis's passion for film, music, and the arts, as well as local and state politics and everything else, you know, has led to the you know kind of the weekly that is the heart of the Austin you know we live in today. Lewis has had a big impact on my life and in the lives of you know so many filmmakers he's helped through being a you know a powerful connector of people, of a diehard supporter of the arts through the Chronicle, South by, and his leadership within the you know Austin Film Society. You know, bottom line, the Film Society wouldn't have even gotten off the ground if it wasn't for Lewis and the Chronicle's support. You know, I remember it was the summer of 1985. Uh, I was at a show at Liberty Lunch. You know, a friend of mine pointed out, hey, that's, that's Lewis Black over there. You know, the guy we had been reading in the Cinema Texas program notes and in the Chronicle. You know, so between bands, I went over and just started talking to him about you know, we were soon going to be showing these movies at the Dolby Theater at midnight, these crazy films, you know, but what follows is the crucial moment, and it's the crucial difference between Lewis and so many other people in this world. You know, he didn't say to me, like, hey, that sounds great, good luck with that kid, you know, he said, you know, that sounds good, come by the office, you know, Thursday afternoon we'll talk more. And so when I did, we sat around and talked about movies for a long time, and then pretty soon he's going, you know, we'll give you a free ad. Oh, and go talk to this guy, Chuck Shapiro, who's going to, you know, he, he can give you some advice. And then Charles Ramirez Berg, he can help you out. And so Lewis, you know, he sort of adopted us and was an ongoing advisor, an, an early board member, and was our visionary, you know, board president during, you know, our biggest leaps forward. So. Anyway, what I'm trying to articulate here is that Austin is special, you know, for, for a reason. It's a unique town for a reason. It, it, these things don't just happen. You know, it's not by accident. It's because of leaders in this community like Lewis, who, you know, 20, 30 years ago were, you know, laying the groundwork and the building blocks to shape and steer the culture of the modern Austin. So Lewis to me is like the most exemplary example of a cultural leader I can think of. You know, he cares. His heart is in the right place. He has an informed opinion. And most passionately, you know, and most importantly, he has a passion and an enthusiasm and a work ethic that we're all the beneficiaries of. So, you know, on behalf of Austin, and behalf of the film culture, not just here and in Texas, but, but everywhere. You know, I just, you know, we all want us to just say, thank you, Lewis. So thank you. Thank you. Um, before I speak as, uh, as the guy from Variety about why Lewis is so special, I just want to say uh, I go to a lot of award shows uh, here and around the world. <clears throat> and the reason that Austin uh, is absolutely the best and most perfect one for me is uh, I'm, I'm a guy who wanted to be Mac Davis. <laughs> so here I am. I've got Patron on the bar. I've got Waylon Jennings on the jukebox. i got a great band here. What more do you need? Okay, I'm in heaven here. Thank you. Not only did Lewis co-found Austin Chronicle and support the creation of the Austin Film Society, Austin Studios, and these very Texas Film Awards, he also co-founded South by South Music Festival in 87. South by is now the largest music festival of its kind in the world. It's also considered to be one of the most prominent and important film festivals in the world. As I was saying to some people today uh, on the red carpet uh, interviewing me, it's grown exponentially, and it's the fastest growing, fastest rising as a launching pad for films of anyone in the world. It, it means a lot 
to, the, to Austin, it infuses $200 million each year into Austin's economy. That number continues to grow. Variety has covered the global entertainment business since 1905, and we know what it looks like when an individual or institution is a game changer. And quite simply, that's what Lewis Black is. He's a game changer. What he did when he started South By over 25 years ago has evolved and grown into a festival that has a global impact on the entertainment industry. It's a place where some of the most talked about successful filmmakers and musicians in the world have launched their careers. A whole lot of them are here tonight, by the way. And we're honored at Variety to co-present the Lifetime Achievement Award to someone who has not only changed the film world of Austin, but the whole world. Thank you. Let's take a look at the video. All right. instrumental he's been in making things happen here. You know, you often meet people who have ideas and who talk about things, but Lewis has this ability to kind of connect people and make things happen in a really substantial way. Some people are broad and shallow. Lewis is narrow and deep. Uh, when you get into one of Lewis's verticals, whether it's music or film or alternative uh, media, uh, there's nobody who can touch him in terms of his knowledge and his vision, the breadth of his experience, and ultimately his commitment. Before the Chronicle came, there was not a centralized place where you could find out about all of the interesting cultural things here in Austin. Lewis is, is a force of nature, sometimes called the mayor of Austin film. Obviously, without Lewis, there wouldn't be a South By. South By has in turn taken under its wing a lot of organizations, AFS is one, and the relationship between the two has been kind of like a one plus one equals more than two deal. Lewis knew how to seize control uh, of, of events, of institutions, and things uh, of and, and, and He didn't ask permission to do that, he just started doing things. And, and, and making people, you know, uh, be involved, whether they, they liked it or not, because this is what was going to happen, goddammit. <laughs> he was there at the very beginning of the Boston Society, and the, and the idea that filmmakers didn't necessarily have to go to L.A. or New York to do their business. Lewis isn't really looking for the next great thing. He really is genuinely trying to help somebody. He would always include anybody, you know, anybody who came to town was invited. He always made a point of having the more senior filmmakers meet the younger filmmakers. You know, he was always really good. Festival. He knew I was scared, you know, he didn't know how scared, but he just sort of sat me down and reminded me why I, like, all the reasons I'd wanted to make the film, and reminded me that I knew what to say about my movie. He just sort of gave me confidence that I could, you know, that I knew what I was doing, and, and I think sometimes he had confidence in me before I did, and, you know, you kind of need someone like that. 
so I've known him for 15 years, and the entire time he's been like a coach and a mentor to me as um, the Film Society has gone through tons of huge changes. He is quite the visionary, but he's also very practical, um, and he has he's grounded in culture and grounded in community, so he's been a great um, mentor and guidepost. Super moral and super straight up and just cares. You know, and he cares, I think, first and foremost about Austin. What's good for Austin? Lewis, I want to thank you for inviting me to Austin, Texas uh, for the first time. And I want to thank you for um, introducing me to um, David Boone and Brian Hansen and Tom Huckabee and the many other extraordinary young Texan filmmakers who we drank beer with and smoked pot with and watched films with in somebody's apartment uh, many, many decades ago. I want to thank you, Lewis, for having extraordinary opinions on everything, not just um, uh, movies and food and politics and life and poodles and stuff, but everything. I love you like a brother. Um, I love you so much, and I congratulate you on um, finally being honored tonight by the Awesome Film Society, another great organization. Which you surely miss. <laughs> Greetings to everybody there. Bravo, bravo, Lewis Black. Take care. The Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, Lewis Black.